Jamaica's capital comes alive with the songs of horns and screaming fans, passionate about their favorite players and the schools they represent. Sabina Park, famous for cricketing entertainment, is transformed into a stage of schoolboy football frenzy. Champions will be crowned. The final of the Walker Cup is on between Haile Selassie High and Tivoli Gardens High at Sabina Park, Kingston, Jamaica. Well, it's a very hot day here in Kingston at Sabina Park. As hot as what today will be, this is just a reflection in a very cloudy sky, 30 degrees Celsius, the temperature stands at, and humidity is at 65%. Hello and welcome to Sabina Park. It's a big day, double header of finals. And uh, I'm Gerard Morris Seely. And with me to take you through this day is Janae Robinson and to her right, Kimani O'Sullivan. Yes, Gerard, you said big day and big day indeed. This is Hale Celeste's first time in this stage of the competition. And they'll be hoping to see if they can walk home with this Walker Cup title. But on the other hand, Tivoli, you know, they've been here before. And I'm sure they'd want it just as much. Yeah, what about the goal connoisseur? I want to know what he thinks about. Yeah, I'm just happy to be here sharing the stage with you guys, you know, the A team, you know, okay. it's, I'm not the best singer, but you know, reunited and it feels so good, but on our hands today we have two teams, you think about that Tivoli High team getting the better of a St. George's to get here, and you think about Haile Selassie getting the better of a Woolmers, so these two teams are very stout and they're very intense, so it's a great game on our hands today. Well, before we actually get into these teams in details, we have to know exactly how they would have reached this point. Heidi Selassie, they played Woolmers in the semi-final and of course they would have come out on top which means that they booked their spot in today's final. Yep. Let's head upstairs now to our commentary team, Ricardo Chambers and LeJay Williams and they have the roundup of that match. Yeah, thank you very much Gerard. The Heidi Selassie semi-final coming up against Woolmers and Haile Selassie for the first half of this contest with a number of opportunities really pushing forward looking to get that opening goal. Yeah they were really trying and trying here we see Dewar firing over he was one of the main catalysts in this Haile Selassie win. He most certainly was second half action and Haile Selassie again trying to get in Rohan Muir unable to get anything onto that one as it whistled across the face of goal but they would eventually get the opening goal Haile Selassie coming in the 57th minute of the contest a well worked play as well out to Joan Payne their leading goal scorer got it on the left foot picked his spot beautifully fabulous goal great goal to get you into a final Joan Payne has been instrumental in Haile Selassie's rise to this final and it was Woolmers trying to get back into it there with Bell just fired wide yeah their talented youngster Giovanni Bell injured mid-season came back in time for the latter stages of the Walker Cup but just couldn't finish that one off and the captain Joshua Duar also with an opportunity to make it 2-0 late on but it didn't matter Haile Selassie through to the final 1-0 over Woolmers yeah, thanks a lot, Ricardo Allergy. And I'm here now, time to talk to some fans. Well, one of fan I have with me, uh, her name is Latanya. Let me head over to Latanya. Hi, Latanya, how are you doing? I'm okay, how are you? I'm not too bad myself. I'm excited about the football that's about to happen here today. Let me ask you, which team are you supporting? Oh, my school is Hylas High School, and I'm here to support them. Yeah. Yeah. And you think they can win their very first schoolboy football title? I don't think they can. I know they can. Yeah, you know. We, I know, everyone know, and we're here to support them to the fullest. Yeah, but you know it's going to be a hard task against Tivoli Gardens. I know, I know, but we can come through and it's, it's not that hard if we really um, come out. And we have, they have the support and we're here to support them no matter what. Do you know anybody on the team specifically? Are you related to them? Are you a student at the school? What's, what's up? I am a student. I'm their deputy head girl. Nice. Yes, and um, not really though. I know all of them because all of them are my friends and some of them are even closer. But then I'm here to support everyone. 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 All right. Well, 
Look, before you go, before I let you go and enjoy the football, I want you to give me a scoreline. What's, what's the scoreline going to be at the end of this game? Honestly, I want to tell you some. I want to tell you, but I don't know. And I'm here. We are here. All of us are here to see that. So I don't know what answer I can give you, but we just have to look and see, right? Potential of penalties. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll see what happens after 90 minutes. Do they, either they go to penalties or they win outright. Pardon me? Either they go to penalties or they win outright. Which one are you picking? We win. We win. I want them to see. Say, Selassie is not just a school of um, what other people say. We can do better. We know we are better and all of that. Well, and we're going to show the world today that Haile Selassie High School is more than people think. Yeah, I love that. What a good note to end on as we head over now to look at Tivoli Gardens High and how they got here in this final. Let's head back upstairs to our commentary team. Yeah, thank you very much, Gerard. Tivoli Gardens taking on St. George's College in their semi-final. And I think many would have favoured St. George's College to come away in this one, but it wasn't quite the case. Great start for Tivoli. Dwayne Johnson with a shot towards goal there. Um, of course, St. George's College, you would expect them to have some attacking potency and they showed some amount of quality as well. But the goal came in the 24th minute of the contest and it came the way of Tivoli Gardens and easy easy finish for Dwayne Johnson yeah he got himself into the right position and once he was there he made no mistake it was a very good finish for Johnson easy does it for the Tivoli number 12 that gave them the lead and that is all they would need to come away with the victory Johnson again laying it off this time to Commander Smith Unable to hit the target, St. George's College, they had their opportunities, there's no doubt about that, and that was not even one of the best ones. Yeah, they really grew into the game, especially in the second half, here's a really good chance for um, Johnson, but he just couldn't, Joshua Jackson, but he just couldn't place it home. That was going to be one of his last moments in the game, however, got sent off for that high boot straight red card for him but after that St. George has actually grew into the game and started to create even more opportunities yeah they certainly did testing the goalkeeper there and just unable to get the ball in the back of the net on the afternoon Burkett getting the penalty and could not get the equalizer this was a massive blow for STGC yeah it was and after that they really couldn't cement their place here's another good chance just drag wide by Kajan James it was going to be his only chance at the game either yeah came on got the opportunities and uh, Tivoli Gardens trying to get a second goal fabulous left footed shot from Horatio Wanlis oh, tipped over the bar Tivoli Gardens 1-0 victors in semi-final 2 through to the final yeah, so Tivoli Gardens, they beat St. George's College, who had a plethora of opportunities, yes. missed them all. Um, and indeed, at the end, playing the ultimate prize, which is a spot here in the final. Yes, I think that they did what they needed to do on that day. They showed up, as you said, the St. George's College had many chances, even a penalty, yeah. and they missed it. So I think it's well deserving for this Tivoli High team. Yeah, and one thing we need to point out is how well Tivoli Gardens play. Because not, not many people people know the style of play that they have but they are a very patient team they can pass the, the ball around the park and they're no joke so we have to really take into consideration how, the quality they have yeah quick comment on Haile Selassie and their game against Wilmer's boys well I it's kind of synonymous to what we said a while ago about St. George's College Haile Selassie I think they they wanted it and they wanted to reach this Walker Cup final and in that matchup they, they did what they needed to do yeah well on that note we take our first break when we come back we'll be looking at these two teams and their journey so this one
change the season at Tools. So come shop till you drop for the very best in home decor. Best selling restock items. And new arrivals at the lowest prices. Specials on windows, doors, sanitary wear, and much more. Ceramic and porcelain tiles with unique designs. It's set on sale. Saving, 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 saving. So come visit us at 279 Spanish Town Road, Forest South Camp Road, 8 Red Hills Road, or online at ToolsJA.com. Tools! The Lion King of Heart On the go? Grab your fave True Shake, packed with 9 grams protein, 30% calcium required per day, 24 key vitamins and minerals, 3 great flavors, vanilla, peanut and butter pecan. Try a True Shake. It's really good. Quick and convenient meal replacement. Shake and go with True Shake. Why is I into KFC? Because it's a big deal and it's so good that they can feed me off the wing. How did you know the big deal was right for you? The striker that I am, who doesn't love a hat trick? What about the season? The season is great. I think we have the best 11 to do big things. Score your own three pieces of delicious chicken, fries, and a drink with a big deal today. KFC, we still are doing big. shortage of APA uh, action on your home of champions on Sports Match 2 on Saturday. We have the Sacramento Kings traveling to Los Angeles to face the Clippers. That match will be at 4 p.m. 5 in the, rest, in the rest of the Caribbean. And after that on Sunday to 3.30 p.m., 4.30 p.m. ECT, we have the Denver Nuggets. They play against the New Orleans Pel Pelicans. Well, the West Indies, they're in a lot of trouble after a major collapse on day two. They play against Australia. That match continues tonight. We're on day three, 9.20 p.m., 10.20 for the Eastern Caribbean. Welcome back to Sabina Park. We're minutes away from the kickoff here. Harry Selassie versus Tivoli Gardens High in the final of the Walker Cup. And uh, let me just talk to you about knockout football. What's the difference between knockout football and league football? Well, when you think about knockout football, Gerard, the stakes are at its highest because it's do or die. You have to get it right on the day and that can really take a mental toll on the players. But the good players and the players with the they most mental up. fortitude, they show up, Janine. Yeah, and as we look at the bracket here, you can see that these teams went through a pretty good process, right, Janine? Yes, we see St. Catherine playing High Selassie. High Selassie getting the better of that um, in that matchup. Campion playing against Woolmos Boys. Yeah. Woolmos Boys getting the better end of the stick on that occasion and then High Selassie played Woolmos Boys and they beat yeah, Woolmos they Boys which was pretty shocking to some people. Yeah. Yeah, it really was. And then you look at, on the other side of the bracket, you look at Tivoli beating a Charlie Smith, then advancing to beat a St. George's. And they're here in the final. They would definitely bet on themselves to win a game like this. Yeah, yes. but when we look at these two teams, they had about six matches against each other recently. Three wins in favor of Tivoli Gardens, two in favor of Heidi Selassie and a draw. Should we read too much into, and it's because these results are all from the first round of the Manning Cup up until this year. Yes. Uh, and should we read too much into to this result, these results, because this is a different ball game. It's not the first cup of the, the first round of the Mining Cup. It's a final of the Walker Cup. And championship is at stake here. Well, we, we know for sure there isn't unfam unfamiliarity amongst these two teams, but I think that this state of the competition, as you said, is a little well, not a little bit different. It is different. This is a final. Yeah. Well, let's learn a little bit about Haile Selassie. Founded in 1969, 53 years of celebrating, of course, and uh, brown and gold. The color at this sport 918 the school population yet to win a schoolboy football title no walker cups no manning cups uh, no olivier shields and their motto says a learning for a living let's hear now from their coach linval dixon sorry let's hear from their coach now who spoke to Janet. coach can you please sum up your journey so far with these highly selassie boys <laughs> It has been a good season so far. Um, we are here to win a final. Um, we are here to play again. 
a final. Um, just let these boys to just relax and go there and enjoy the game. Well, seeing that this is your boys' first time in the Walker Cup final, how have you been preparing them so far to stand up pressure and scrutiny? Well, we have done our preparation from pre-season. Um, now we're actually in the final. It's just for us to focus, relax, go there and execute on the day. Well, I'd like to pick at your brain a little bit. Do you think that this matchup is a KG affair? <laughs> well, it's a good matchup, I can tell you that, because we played Tivoli twice in the season already. And it was a com too competitive game. So today I expect no other thing but a competitive game again from Tivoli. So we are here to relax and play and enjoy it. Well, as you say that, what would you, well, what would this Walker Cup mean to your school community and for you seeing that today you said it's your mother's birthday? As I said in the semi-final already, um, this walk up mean a lot to the school. A silverware is a silverware. So therefore we are here today to play. And, and at the end of the day, if we play how we're supposed to play, then we should carry on this trophy. Yeah, so that was the assistant coach, Ira Hemmings, and let's take a look at the digital player to watch. Tell us a little bit about him, Janine. Well, this is Jawain Payne. He is sports number seven on his back. He is 16 years of age. First season, play, well, first season, this is a Walker Cup, so first season of Manning Cup, I would say. He's a forward, 14 appearances and 10 goals, and Haile Selassie will be looking for some more goals up his sleeve in this matchup. Also, he has had four goals in the last two games, so he's one to watch out for in this matchup. All right, let's learn a little bit now about Tivoli Gardens. 1950, 1963, they were founded. Orange and black, the, the colors are the wear. 500 school population have four Walker Cups. The last time they won this championship was in 2005. So quite some time since the last one. Study enters into one's living. That's their motto. Let's hear now from their coach who had a chat with Kimani. The biggest match ahead of the season thus far. Yes. How much sleep did you get yesterday? About four hours. <laughs> You know, it's like you're playing, you know? Butterfly, you can't wait to get it over with, I think. Have a good game, trust me. It's going to be a nice game. Well, you're into the final against Haley Selassie, a team that has grown from strength to strength um, over the season. How do you plan on coping with their abilities today? Well, to be honest with you, these youngsters, they cannot predict it, but all you have to do is just prepare them mentally and I think they are prepared mentally to go out there and get a good game. Well, you mentioned the mental aspect of the game. Haley Selassie are known to be a very stout defensive unit. They play very compact and they oftentimes frustrate their opponents. Speak to me about that mentality that you have instilled in the players to really break down that team today and get the win. That is exactly what I'm talking about. Thinking, critical thinking. That's what exactly we're talking about. So I have the youngsters them. Just to be relaxed, you know, don't rush it, game will come. Well, you've played them twice already this season. Are you looking to draw from those games what you have learned about them? Absolutely. It's a very good team and we have our respect for them. So, we know what time it is. And now we'll be taking a look at our water player to watch. He's none other than Daquan Duhaney. He sports the number 21. And looking at this player here, it's Daniel Watson. He's 17 years of age. This is his third season, 13 appearances on the year, and he scored four goals. They'll definitely be looking towards him to not only score goals, but to create. <laughs> Well, yes, Kimani, we'll be hoping to see a lot of exciting football action from both Tivoli and Hail Selassie today as we saw their journey to this point. Gerard, yeah. what do you have to say? I don't want to put you two in a sticky situation, but uh, this is a final, so pick your winner. Well, we'll see after 90 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a safe way. Yeah, I love to make my predictions, but I'm staying away from predictions for now. All right, well, I will make a choice since none, neither of you are bold enough. I think Haile Selassie, they would want it a lot. Tivoli Gardens, they know what it's like to win this cup. Uh, I don't think they're just as motivated, so I'm going to take Haile Selassie. But we will see after will 90 see. minutes. And you will see after 90 minutes because we take a break now. When we come back, you'll be hearing from our commentary team. They have all the action for you. Watch 
grape escape Water Why wait, hydrate, add flavor with a touch of grape Give it a taste Water And when you go up on a base, get your water quick now This new Yeah, grape, grape. Service, give me a grape Water Me thirsty, matter of fact, give me a lace Matter of fact, no time for waste, give me a case water. Grape water for fill up a lake, ready my shake, finish grape. Get the brand new, grape. great tasting, refreshing grape, grape water from grape. water Great for the whole family Watchy grape escape Water <laughs> Digicel Prime Brata Bundles give you more data Share memories And since the season of giving, enjoy enough pickings this Christmas With a chance to pick and win your share of over 16 million in cash and prizes Plus, get 25% off a 7 or 28 day Prime Brata Bundle In the My Digicel app today Enter to pick and win with Digicel this Christmas Connex Services Limited has been providing optimum support in the telecommunication and networking industry since its inception in 2003. At Connex, we have a staff complement of over 300 employees, providing employment opportunities in five different Caribbean countries. We provide 24 hours technical support in solar engineering, network engineering, and equipment rental. Our team of highly trained engineers are focused on building the future for you and your family. This broadcast is brought to you by Digicel, better together. KFC, it's finger licking good. True Shake, shake and go with True Shake. Water, land of good and water. And Connex. What say you when on the verge of success? For some, it's the first time. For others, a distant memory. But the challenge still remains. And the final hurdle must be crossed. And the moment requires conviction. Haile Selassie Ha. Kimberly Gardens Ha. The battle for the Walker Cup starts right now. What a performance in extra time! of the schoolboy football season in the island of Jamaica will be decided this afternoon. Haile Selassie in a championship match for the first time in their history take on Tivoli Gardens who have won this title four times before. There's the trophy they are battling for this afternoon. Against all odds, inner city boys who dare to dream, inner city boys who dare to believe that they too could parade on this stage. Now here they are, from circumstances disadvantaged of the social, economic, emotional and even cognitive variety, they have emerged from worlds that many of us only read of. There are no overnight sensations, just overnight revelations. And these two are indeed revelations. Knocking off the status quo and now together they share this stage in one final battle for the crown. Tivoli Haile Selassie for the Walker Cup title of 2022. Ricardo Chambers alongside Lejay Williams for this championship match. What a moment for these two teams. What a moment for the 22 boys who will start this contest. The Haile Selassie captain, Dimitri Burton steps forward, introducing sponsors and other dignitaries to his team that have done so well to get to this match this afternoon. Keith Wellington there, the president of the Inter-Secondary School Sports Association. Representatives from Digicel, Kadeen Webley, KFC, Andre Roper, 
Now they meet the Tivoli Gardens team. Daniel Watson, the captain, doing the introductions. What a moment for these boys. An opportunity to cop silverware. <laughs> the task massive. The national anthem of I'm going to ask you all to stand for a moment of silence in memory of the late General Secretary of the Inter-Secondary School Sports Association Competitions Director, George Forbes, who was laid to rest today. A moment of si a moment's silence we ask you all to stand, for please. the former ISA Competitions Director, George Forbes, who was laid to rest earlier today. Thank you very much. The soul rest in peace. The Tivoli lineup. They are looking for a fifth title. Number four, Shane McIntyre. The teams now meet each other, Lijay, as they get ready for battle in this championship match. There are two contrasting stories when you compare these two teams. There's one team that's trying to get back to past glories, a team that's aiming to become the joint fourth most successful team in this Walker Cup competition and then Haile Selassie on the other hand trying to get to a place they've never been trying to win their very first title in their school's history a lot of intriguing stories going into this one it's going to be a very intriguing game as well two teams that like to play their football have very attacking players amongst their ranks as we have the referee O'Shea Nation Assisted by OJ Duhaney, Rickton Archer, and the fourth official Stefan Duar. Well, time to meet the teams. Let's start with the Haile Selassie lineup. The 15 year old Kevin Hibbert will be in goal. At the back, Dimitri Burton and Kyle Williams at centre back. Doreen Selvin at left back. Kishon Valentine at right back. Joanne Payne, their leading scorer this season with 10 goals. Sidre Hepburn and Rowan Muir in the middle. Joshua Duar, Janai Lawrence, and Kimani Richards, the three up front. They're coached by Linville Dixon. In this team, they like to play some very fast transitional football, but they also defend very well. They defend stoutly and they're going to try and keep out a very potent Tivoli Gardens attack. Coach Liverpool Dixon is no stranger to pressure situations. So let's see what he has told his boys to try and inspire them to get this win today. Always so crucial when you have experience in your setup. Daniel Watson, the Tivoli Gardens captain there. Four goals to his credit this campaign. Three assists in there as well. He's been a pivotal part of their setup. And he will be required this afternoon. Again, Dimitri Burton, the Haile Selassie captain, stepping forward as well. As they go through the final moments of the pleasantries, the official aspect of this pre of the pre-match rituals Enjoy. and the referees will try and pump each other off as they get ready let's have a look at the Tivoli Garden starting lineup then Shakur Adair in goal Deshaun Tate, Charleston Williams Rolanda Stevenson and Shane McIntosh at the back Adin Wilson, Daniel Watson and Jaheem Norman with Horatia Wanlis, Kamala Smith and Dwayne Johnson up front Christopher Nicholas is their coach Look out for Horatio Wanlis on one wing and of course their captain Daniel Watson on the other wing trying to provide for Dwayne Johnson through the centre. Dwayne Johnson who scored the goal that has led Tivoli to this moment in the semi-final. Wherever 
wherever you're watching, whether it be in Jamaica, across the Caribbean, or in the diaspora, welcome. Welcome to a clash of two teams who have already won. Welcome to the power of sport, to motivate, to elevate, to inspire. Be inspired. Match time. Tivoli Gardens, Haile Selassie. Final of the Walker Cup for the 2022 season. And it's Tivoli Gardens with Smith. Forced to play the ball back in defense. How do you expect this one to play out? I expect it to be very interesting. It's a clash of styles in some aspects because Tivoli Gardens are a team that like to start really fast early. Haile Selassie, if you've noticed, has scored a lot of their most important goals in the second half, so they grow into games. Tivoli Gardens look to start quickly as they're looking to do here now. Yes, yeah, Smith over on the right trying to cut inside. Ball taken away in the middle by Joshua Duar, who is going to be such an important part of the Heitler Selassie setup as he usually is. Extremely versatile player Duar is. Featured most of the season in central midfield, more so attacking midfield in that right hand of the right of a midfield three. Now he's playing fully on that right wing. He'll be looking to make runs in behind, but also dropping into the midfield to create overloads in that way as well. Just 16 years old, Joshua Duar will celebrate his 17th birthday in a few days. So this would be a wonderful early birthday present for him. If Ahitle Selassie can pull off this victory as they go forward. Here is Pink with a left-footed shot, but that's right at Shakur Adir. But just the way that Ahitle Selassie would want to start as we have a look at their coach. Lidfull Dixon, former national player, has experience at the Premier League level. And that experience could count for a lot this afternoon. Tivoli Gardens on the front foot now. Here's a chance. Horatio Wanlis. His shot blocked. And a corner kick coming up for Tivoli. I expect that Wanlis will be a constant threat down the wings. Plays mostly on the left, but does move to the right wing as well. Yeah, they took that corner kick early and then the attempted cross not a very good one coming from Kimarley Smith seemed caught in several minds there as to exactly what to do was provided with maybe a little bit more room than he expected yeah they tried to take the quick corner to catch Haile Selassie off but in the end the delivery wasn't good enough to provide that threat Tivoli Gardens four-time winners of the Walker Cup they last won it in 2005, an upset victory over Calabar who went on to win the Manning and Olivia Shield. That's a lovely ball played through, the flag is up for offside. So their last triumph coming in 2005, Tivoli Gardens. Massive victory that was for them. Haile Selassie have never paraded on this stage before, but they get their opportunity this afternoon and they have made a pretty bright start. One thing I'm sure that the Heinle Selassie coaches would be instilling as we have a look at Christopher Nicholas, the Tivoli Gardens head coach. And he's a coach that has won the Walker Cup with Tivoli as well in 1996. By his own admission, he was their standout player that year. So he'll be looking to inspire his team that way. Also went on to play for the senior team, the Tivoli Gardens Premier League team. So he'll be looking to pass on that experience and try and see if he can lead his boys to victory today. Yeah, definitely two experienced coaches which has helped their team to get this far and could propel them over the line. Tivoli defending. Stevenson plays it forward. Picking out one list. One list was tackled up. Tivoli regained possession. This is Stevenson. Venturing forward. As he loves to do, Stevenson. Eight assists this season, venturing down that left flank. His pass. Well cut out there. Janai Lawrence. 
does well to win the corner kick for Haile Selassie. Oh, Haile Selassie, number 19, 19 years old, the oldest player on their roster. And now their leading scorer, Jawan Payne, gets ready to take the corner kick. Payne with the delivery. Headed back towards the target. Came from the head of a tip of the gardens player. Will be a corner kick. Second one for Haile Selassie. And corners and set pieces are something that St. George's look to exploit against Tivoli. Their goalkeeper Tivoli Shakura there was not too sure handed when dealing with some of these set pieces. So that will be something to look out for for the rest of the game. Lawrence with the corner kick. This comes in, shot towards the target block. And the clearance now comes. Tiffany Gardens looking to catch Haile Selassie on the counter. Great coverage from Demetri Burton, their captain. And they're in danger averted for now. That's always going to be a threat. Tivoli do like to attack constantly, quickly. But that was an excellent block there by Deshaun Tate in the end. Might have been Selvin who got the shot off. As the attempted cross comes in from Horatio Wanlis. And the Tivoli Gardens will have a throw. These teams have already met twice this season. They came out of the same group. Haile Selassie winning both encounters. And so they will take that confidence into this final. But Tivoli Gardens for sure would have learned a lot. And they would have improved significantly as Wanlis delivers a teasing cross. Not enough Tivoli Gardens players inside the box though. Stevenson picks it up, didn't get it under his control, but he does win the throw as Duar stepped in. As you will see him do quite a lot this afternoon. Stevenson again with the delivery. Too close to Kevin Hibbert. And the 15 year old collects cleanly. Kevin Hibbert, seven clean sheets in Haile Selassie's goal. He's been a constant behind that back line, has been doing good work for them. Has saved them in some very perilous situations. But you mentioned the history that these two teams have between them this season. Having played each other twice in the group stages. One of those victories Haile Selassie won one nil. That was only one of three occasions that Tivoli hasn't scored in a game this season. Haile Selassie on the front foot. Cleared away by Deshaun Tate. Danger still lurks though. Comes on to Duar. Duar gets clipped and wins a free kick. Kishon Valentine with the delivery. Tiffany Gardens heading forward over on the left with Dwayne Johnson. Johnson gets it back. Oh, and does well. Slips it inside the box. Stevenson comes forward to assist. His attempted cross is blocked. Sean Valentine gets a clearance and then the ball is sent further away. Played back in by Shane McIntosh. Tivoli now attacking on the right through Kimali Smith. Smith with a good cross. And it's powered over by Kevin Hibbert. Taking no chances. That cross had to be dealt with. Ended up being fired in very close to the near post of Hibbert. Had to tip it over. There's another set piece for Tivoli Gardens now. And it's a good one. Headed on to the crossbar. And over. So close. Another look at it. Dwayne Johnson looking to score with a header in back-to-back -back matches at the business end of the tournament. 
Should have hit the target there. Yeah, he should have, but he, his blushes were spared as it was called offside in the end, but it's Tivoli applying all of the pressure in the early exchanges. Tenth minute of this championship match. Muir over on the left for Haile Selassie. Into the path of Richards. Richards with a cross. That's good football. Goalkeeper Adair there took up a, a very special position. A very dangerous one. If the ball had passed him, the goal would have been wide open, but he knew what he was doing in the end and has only conceded the corner. It's going to be Janiah Lawrence to swing this one in with his right foot. Lawrence, 19 years old. Steps up with a corner kick. Not a bad delivery, but it's comfortably dealt with by the Tivoli defence. And now they look to break free over on the right with one list. Won by Burton for Haile Selassie. Ball chip forward. Looking for Kimani Richards. And the clearance comes now. Kyle Silas looking to grow into this game. They will have some confidence behind them seeing that they've beaten this opposition twice this season. And they'll also and wins yet another corner kick as the block comes in from Jaheim Dorman. Playing in that central defensive midfield role today. Six corner kicks for Haile Selassie. And they're about to have another one. Payton will swing it in with the left foot this time. That's a teasing ball punched away by Adair. Love the sunshine here at Sabina Park. We were threatened by overcast skies and even drizzles earlier in the afternoon. As Stevenson takes the throw for Tivoli. Here he is again on the ball. Floated ball inside the area. Looking for Johnson. Cleared away. Tivoli Gardens forced to defend quite a lot in the last few minutes. Harry Selassie's press has been unrelenting so far, trying to squeeze the pitch, not trying to allow Tivoli Gardens hide the space to really play from deep. That is something that they did very effectively in the first half in the last game. That's where their goal came from, just passing the ball patiently around the back and then pouncing when the time was right. But Hyde Selassie aren't giving them that space to play into. Smith plays it back for Tivoli. Looking to find the opening, but Hyde Selassie will come away with it through Rowan Muir. Timely intervention there because Joanne Payne, the ever dangerous Joanne Payne, was bearing down. Dorman had it on the control, headed over the top. What a chance! for Haile Selassie to go in front and Janai Lawrence couldn't put it on target spoke about the indecisiveness that Shakura Deer has in the Tivoli Gardens goal at times that was an example of it there didn't know whether to come or whether to stay on his line opted to stay in an in-between zone and that's never good Janai Lawrence in the end had the header but just couldn't direct it goalwards Oh, God. 
<laughs> We've gone by quarter of an hour in this Walker Cup final. First championship match of the schoolboy football season. The Manning Cup title to be decided later on today as well with the Costa and Walk and the Ben Francis titles to be decided in the rural area on Saturday. After a good start by Tivoli High, Tivoli Garden side has been Haile Selassie has been controlling the last five to ten minutes. They have a throw over on this near side. Fishan Valentine to take the throw in. Diminutive right back but has been solid for Haile Selassie all season. Dependable figure. Surely has areas. Valentine plays it forward. Lawrence with the delivery. Too much weight on it. And it's kept in for the Painland based team. Dwar produces the save from there. Another shot comes in, another block, another clearance. Haile Selassie really trying to turn it on and that's the closest they've been this afternoon. It was good play down the left, overloading that left side and once they finally got in, the shot came in from the war but it just evade Adair and Adair was there to make the save. A timely save. Tivoli Gardens feeling the heat at current. Haile Selassie in the ascendancy. Here's a chance again. The war just couldn't get it to curl away to a corner. Ended up going very central. Nadir could deal with it. Not comfortably, but he had it dealt with. Brilliant work from Jareen Selvin as well to create the initial space and get the cross in. Valentine wins the throw. Duar again. Does well. The cross easily handled by Adair this time. Now Tivoli going the other way. loses possession that time comes over to one this one this gets inside the box one waiting inside couldn't find him Pain. plays the ball into touch Tivoli throw coming up but that's the threat that Tivoli Gardens pose especially in quick transition periods one this is always ready that was a good ball play through by Dorman, their man of the match in the last game. Dorman in the central midfield area. It's imperative that they get him on the ball as much as possible. And it was a very good ball through. Wallace in the end, however, could direct it to that back post where he had teammates waiting. Just the wire there. But here's Wallace again, the chance. Ended up here. It was a very good cut out in the end. This is number four, Dimitri Burton, their captain. Dewar is such a pivotal player in the middle four, Haile Selassie. They will be hoping that he is fine. He's back up on his feet now, so... Probably is okay, as their captain, Burton, gets some attention. The Haile Selassie fans very much here at Sabina Park. They know it's not every day they get this opportunity to play in a championship match. And 
they will make full use of the occasion. When they got to the quarterfinals of the Manning Cup, it was the first time that they had been beyond the second round of that competition. Of course, in the past, they would have gotten through to the round of 12, but then that would have essentially been a second round. It's been a while since Tivoli have been in an occasion like this as well. Christopher Nicholas has done very well to lead his team back to such a place. You mentioned in 2005 the Walker Cup final against Calabar, which they won unexpectedly, but they did it and just unexpectedly as well. They've got to this occasion, finished third in their first round group, a group which contained Haile Selassie and Charlie Smith. They lost to Charlie Smith twice in the group stages, and then in the end, they beat Charlie Smith in the quarterfinals to get to this to get to the semi-final and now the final so they offered up some revenge beating Charlie Smith 2-0 in that quarter-final what it says is that this is a team that has grown throughout the course of the season and has gotten better and are primed to strike in this championship match but Haile Selassie themselves primed but also understanding the opportunity presented before them this afternoon to create history for the institution and you heard their deputy head girl speaking ahead of the match about showing that Haide Selassie is more than just what people say they are for a school in the inner city they don't have a great history in anything really Maybe over the last 10 years they've done brilliantly at badminton but as far as winning much at, at this level of schoolboy sport that tradition almost does not exist but they have been making strides however they made the second round in four consecutive years in the mid 2010s 2017 2016 2015 and 2014 they've been very brave and, and looking forward to their in, in terms of their coaching appointments in the 2016 when they went to the Walker Cup semi-final they had Jeffrey Maxwell as their coach and now they have Linval Dixon so that's Premier League experience coaches that have been around and done that so they're definitely very ambitious with what they want to do with their program and they've produced some very good players and those players have led their team to such a monumentous occasion yeah here is Stevenson, gets into traffic, Burton wins it, Duar cleans up. Haile Selassie with an opportunity to go on their way, Duar sends it forward, looking to pick out Lawrence. Lawrence gets tackled up from behind. Haile Selassie with another opportunity to attack the Tivoli goal. It's that man Duar again. Posing a threat, this time trying to play in Janai Lawrence, but it was good defending in the end by Charleston Williams. He made a few key blocks and clearances in the semi final as well. Charleston Williams, there's Dewar swinging this one top of the 18 yard area, and he's back to regain possession for Haile Selassie, but couldn't hold on to it. Comes on to Valentine, though. Haile Selassie keeping the pressure on. Long ball in from Valentine. That one wide of the mark. Ambitious right back. Keshawn Valentine. He is undersized as a defender. Because Dorman there needs some attention. He's undersized as a defender, Valentine. So he has to be very tenacious and feisty with how he goes about his game. And that's exactly what he's been like all season. Jain Dorman down for Tivoli. He too has had a decent season. Four goals to his credit. And uh, that's the most any Tivoli player has scored this campaign. Of course, a number of them have scored four goals. And uh, he is one of them. Kimarley Smith, another. Daniel Watson, another. They also have Ryan O'Neill Francis, who starts on the bench today. 
but there is an expectant crowd of what looks to be most the highly Celeste supporters. They have come out for this occasion. Yeah, 27th man. minute. Yeah, you mentioned that it's not a, a common occasion, so they're definitely going to make the most of this one. And their team is looking to play up to the hype and the support they're getting because they have started the game well. As their captain gives away a foul, as I say that, of course. Good pressure in the end there by Dwayne Johnson. Yeah, Burton taking him out. Freaky coming up for Tivoli. Smith. That's a good take, you know. From Kevin Hibbert. It was a very calm one. Considering it looked dangerous initially. The flight of the ball, but he seemed unfazed. Took, took the ball high. That's what any goalkeeper coach would tell you to do take the ball and catch the ball as high as possible so it was good goalkeeping in the end by Hibbert a player that could serve this highly Celeste team for a number of years to come just 15 years old and an opportunity to parade in a final paying their 10 goal man this season has really turned up that goal scoring in recent games. Four in his last two, a hat-trick in the quarter-final against St. Catherine. And of course, the winning goal against Wilmers in the semi-final. Yeah, it says his favorite player is Erling Haaland. And if he can deliver like Haaland this afternoon, then no doubt Heide Selassie will go away with this title. Headed away by Burton. Tivoli. Dorman. Ball taken off. Kimani Richards. Throw coming up for Haile Selassie. We've hit the half an hour mark in this final. Still no goals. Valentine. Looking for Duar. Tiffany with Smith. Play broken up. Duar heads it on. The goals for Haida Selassie have been Concentrated this season, five goal scorers. Payton Duar, Selvin Muir, and Lawrence. So they don't get goals from all over the park. Tiffany Gardens much better in that department. Yeah, but their goal scorers so far this season, apart from Muir and Selvin, who have won each, have been carrying a significant load. They really have been delivering for them, so they'll be hoping for that to continue in this game. Those goal scorers being Payne, Dewar and Janai Lawrence. Janai Lawrence, their central striker, Dewar, as I mentioned, a versatile player, can play on the right, can play in central midfield. And Payne also plays in central midfield, the more attacking midfield variety. Yeah, here's the long ball played forward, asking Lawrence to try and run onto it. And there is Payne flashing a left-footed shot. 
well high, well wide but showing that if he has a sniff he'll go after it yeah he really needs no invitation to shoot he's shown that all throughout the season and with a left foot like that you can't really blame him has scored some special goals this season possession to Tivoli chipped forward and Kyle Williams wins it for Heinle Selassie playing on the left side of central defence this afternoon Williams and as the captain Dimitri Burton operating on the right side of central defense. Sends it long, Burton. Headed back into the middle, stamped forward. Too much weight on it, and Adair cleans up. 33rd minute, still no goals in the Walker Cup final. First piece of silverware to be handed out this Scopeway football campaign. The two time defending champion St. Catherine, beaten by this Heinle Selassie team at the quarter final stage. And they want to succeed St. Catherine as champions of this cup. When St. Catherine won it in the 2019 season, it was their first. And this would be Haider Selassie's first as well. In order to be the best, you have to beat the best. That's the me message that Haider Selassie have been preaching all season. And it was a very convincing win against St. Catherine as well. A 4-1 victory in the end. The game was played over two days in the 60th minute. It had to be stopped due to a waterlogged field in St. Catherine at the prison oval. But once that game restarted, Kyle Selassie pulled away, ended up winning 4-1 that afternoon. A massive disappointment for St. Catherine being knocked out of the Manning Cup in the second round by Wilmers and I think that jolted them quite a bit because they would have won the Walker Cup twice and really felt they had a team ready to challenge for the Manning Cup. As this ball is inside! Timberley in front! He's a captain, he's a leader, and with the hopes of not only a school but an entire community behind him, he has delivered on the big stage. Daniel Watson, fifth goal of the season. He was the only one that was alive to that ball that was sung in the box at that back post. And once he got there, it was a good guided header into the back of the net. Once again, a fabulous delivery from Ronaldo Stevenson. He has shown that if he's given the space, he has quality deliveries in that left foot. And that was another one. Tivoli heading forward again, looking for Johnson this time. And they have a free kick at the edge of the box. And this is what Tivoli do. They tend to swarm their opponents. They're never content with one goal only. And even after getting that opening goal, get, getting that lead in this final, they're not easing up. Dwayne Johnson running in behind, running those channels and winning the foul from Kyle Williams. And now it's going to be Tivoli Gardens with a free kick opportunity to try and take an even more commanding lead in this game. Linville Dixon knows his boys have a big job to do now free kick coming up <laughs> rich 
Sancho won this. The 18-year-old stands behind it. One less. Right at Hibbert. One nil it remains in favor of Tivoli. Went for placement. Tried to guide that one into the back of the net, but Hibbert, Hibbert was behind it all the way. First card of the contest coming out. It's yellow. Second card of the contest. This one yellow. And it's gone to Janai Lawrence. Ball sent forward. Comes out to Wandis after evading Valentine. Wandis with a cross, headed away. Comes out to Stevenson. Stevenson floats another delightful ball in. Flag is up this time. They've got to close him down. Rolanda Stevenson. They've got to do it quickly. Not for the first time. Dwayne Johnson has been offside today. Off of a headed opportunity. But you are correct. Kyle Slice do have to close down Stevenson. Registered his ninth assist, of course, with that assist for the goal. There's Danger Man and Captain Daniel Watson was the player to watch before the game and he has delivered on the big stage but Stevenson on the ball here has been instrumental as well Valentine wins it for Haile Selassie tries to cut inside loses possession to Jaheim Dorman all over the top looking for Stevenson oh Stevenson does well to win it Valentine made a mess of it and a corner kick coming up for Tivoli. Tivoli continuing to pile on the pressure. They take it short. Smith to the back post. Payne. Oh, just couldn't keep it in play. Jawan Payne. Haile Selassie won't be too disheartened. They do tend to score a bulk of their goals in the second half. They do grow stronger as the game goes on. Have scored some important goals in the second half, including their winning goal in the semi-final. Scored three goals after the 60th minute in the quarter-final as well. So they definitely won't feel like they're out of this game by, by a long shot. They haven't gotten to this stage by rolling over when faced by adversity. They've gone here through grits and fight. Throw for Tivoli. Long ball inside the box. Headed away by Muir. Comes out. Left initially by Stevenson. Picked up by Dorman. And the throw. Coming up for the Haile Selassie team. No? Should have been given as a goal kick. Hemmings, the assistant coach of Haile Selassie, ran track for Haile Selassie before he transferred to Jamaica College and finished his high school career there. Now heading back to his community and trying to uplift the next generation of youngsters from there. Smith for Tivoli. Spreads it forward, that's cut out. Dorman spreads it over on the right yellow card to Daniel Watson 
was it Macintosh? It was Macintosh, I think. Yeah, Macintosh got the card. Dewar did well to evade him initially, and Macintosh was determined to not get beat all ends up. Took the yellow card, conceded the foul. Yeah, Macintosh came across from Heidel in 2020. And what an addition he's been for this Tivoli setup. For the third minute of this final, Tivoli in front through a Daniel Watson header. in goal before the break. Or can Tivoli get another one? And Selassie trying to head forward, crowded out. Just seems to me that they're running out of ideas in the attacking third, Haile Selassie. No real clear-cut opportunities for them. Stevenson. There he is again, Stevenson. They are looking for one this. That's a free kick. Tricky customer one list. That's Dimitri Burton who went to face him, blocked him off illegally, and has presented Tivoli Gardens high with a free kick in a good position, very left of centre to the towards the edge of the box. Seems as if it's going to be Dorman in charge of this one. It was a set piece that gave them their first goal. What can they do with this one? For the fifth minute of the championship match in the Walker Cup. Free kick coming up for Tivoli. Jaim Dorman. A four goal man this campaign standing over it. Dorman delivers. Curls it to Kevin Hibbert in goal. You caught that one as another on target. Score remains at 1 0. Kevin Hibbert has been quite solid in this first half, but he has conceded. That's the most important stat going into this halftime break. One minute added on at the end of this first off Tivoli with Smith flag is up first half ticking to a close that's probably the last action of the first half Call. Yeah, go, yeah, go. That. over onto the left. That is the final bit of action in the first half of the Walker Cup Championship match for the 2022 season. Haile Selassie in their first ever Issa Schoolboy football final. They pushed. And when they couldn't break through, Tivoli countered and they got the goal from Daniel Watson, his fifth of the season. 
It's Christopher Nicholas's boys who are sitting pretty at the end of the first 45 minutes here at Sabina Park. They have definitely come to play. They too have come to play, but they just have not been able to find a way through. And two of the key players being spoken to by the assistant coach, Ira Hemmings, they know they have a lot to do, but they also know it's far from over. At halftime in the Walker Cup final at Sabina Park, Tivoli lead Haile Selassie by a goal to nil. Shake and go with True Shake. Water, land of good and water, and conics. It's been a long two years, but now it's finally time. Run Barbados is back with a new unique route. This year, we are coasting the east and taking you on a voyage through the scenic east coast of Barbados. Feel the ocean breeze as you run below the beautiful Casarina trees and past some of Barbados' historic and natural landmarks. This is what the biggest marathon in the Caribbean has in store for you. This is Run Barbados. Visit www.runbarbados.org. See you there. <laughs> Digicel Prime Brata Bundles give you more data. Share memories. And it's the season of giving. Enjoy enough pickings this Christmas with a chance to pick and win your share of over 16 million in cash and prizes. Plus, get 25% off a 7 or 28 day Prime Brata bundle in the My Digicel app today. Enter to pick and win with Digicel this Christmas. Walker Cup final at Sabina Park, Tivoli leading Haile Selassie by a goal to nil. Let's look at the first half highlights. Bashane Nation settling the game on its way. Haile Selassie getting a good start. In fact, I feel as if it was an even break in this one. Haile Selassie with the first shot on target, they certainly led the corner count in the first half and had a few shots as well but they just couldn't break through, typically looking to catch them on the counter, Dwayne Johnson in front of goal with a header should have done better with both those opportunities, the second one eventually flagged off for offside, Janai Lawrence heading over the top four, Haile Selassie. Joshua Duar with a right-footed shot handled even if not comfortably by a daring goal. One this was slippery for Tivoli. That cross was not a bad one. But Haile Selassie just managing to get it away. Kevin Hibbert, the 15-year-old, was cool and, cool and calm in goal. But they would get the goal. Stevenson with a wonderful delivery. Beautifully timed run coming from Daniel Watson. Finishing with a plum. His fifth goal of the season. Tivoli in front by a goal to nil. Yeah, they're motoring. That's the way they would finish the first half. 31, highest less than nil. Let's have a look at the first half statistics. 
Haile Selassie 7 shots, 4 on target, Tivoli 5 shots, 4 on target, 10 falls, 6 of them against, Tivoli 4 against Haile Selassie, 3 yellow cards in the contest so far, 2 for Haile Selassie players, 1 for Tivoli, offside calls, 2 against Tivoli, 1 against Haile Selassie, corner kicks, 9, 6 for Haile Selassie, 3 for Tivoli, the Haile Selassie goalkeeper Kevin Hibbert forced to make 3 saves, 2 made by the Tivoli goalkeeper Shakur Adair and the Haile Selassie bossing possession 54 to 46 percent but Tivoli they are the ones who have the goal and have the lead by a goal to nil at half time. Well let's head to the stands and find out what's happening. Ricardo I am here with fans from both Haile Selassie and also a proud Tivoli Gardens fan. I'm going to start with Haley Selassie because this flag, you cannot miss it once you're in the stadium. I'm here with the principal, Mr. Ellis. You're down one nil. Your boys are playing well. Do you think you have what it takes to get back into the game? We do have what it takes to get back into the game. Certainly the game has been in our favor so far. Despite the one love against us, it is not over until it is over. We have come to win and we are going to win. The race is not for the sweep but those who can endure to the end. It is not over until it's over. And Haile Selassie has come to win and will win this evening. Speak to me about how important it is to see a school like Haile Selassie getting to a final like this for the first time in their history, led by Coach Linval Dixon. We are feeling very ecstatic about it. It's a wonderful feeling. It's not the first that we've ever been successful in sports. We are the best in badminton. We are rebuilding in sports and the best is yet to come. Yeah. Alright, thank you. And I'm joined by the fan from Tivoli Gardens. You're up 1-0. How are you feeling about the scoreline and do you think you're going to get more? Well, I'm feeling overjoyed. You know, it's, it's a couple of years now. We, we have one day Walker Cup already. Back in the days when I used to attend Tivoli High School. And now we have risen from the ashes, which is a phoenix, the bird here. Yeah, this is called a phoenix. So we have risen again and we're going to take it. Whether or not we're leading 1 0, we have more to score. So, can I get a scoreline prediction from you? You're up 1 0 now. How much do you think the, the match will end? 3 1. 3 1? Yeah, we'll give, we'll give them a one goal. So, 3 1. Alright, so Tivoli Gardens are into charity, as he has said, but do they have what it takes to see this through against a tough Haley Slassy team? Stick around and find out. We'll be right back. Jamaica, our land of good and water. How far we've come. What a mighty little island we are. We begin everything we do. Music, culture, sports, food. And just like the sun and everything that shines beneath it, our future looking bright. The youths have big shoes to fill. And water, with every sip, will contribute to education. After all, it takes a village to raise a child. And together, we are what make Jamaica the land of good and water. <laughs> Digicel Prime Brata Bundles give you more data. Share memories. And this is the season of giving. Enjoy enough pickings this Christmas with a chance to pick and win your share of over 16 million in cash and prizes. Plus, get 25% off a 7 or 28 day Prime Brata bundle in the My Digicel app today. Enter to pick and win with Digicel this Christmas. Why is I into KFC? Because it's a big deal and it's so good that they can feed me off the wing. How did you know the big deal was right for you? The striker that I am, who doesn't love a hat trick? What about the season? The season is great. I think we have the best 11 to do big things. Score your own three pieces of delicious chicken, fries, and a drink with a big deal today. KFC, we still are doing big. On the go, 
Grab your fave true shake, packed with 9 grams protein, 30% calcium required per day, 24 key vitamins and minerals, 3 great flavors, vanilla, peanut and butter pecan. Try a true shake. It's really good. Quick and convenient meal replacement. Shake and go with True Shake. What does freedom look like? It's being on the open road. Exploring alone. Discover new paths or rediscover old ones. Why wait? Hit the road. Be free spirited again. Book with Island Car Rentals. Enjoy the thrill that freedom brings. Why wait, hydrate, add flavor with a touch of grape, give it a taste water. And when you go up on a base, get your water quick now This new Yeah, grape, grape. Service, water. give me a grape water. Me thirsty, matter of fact, give me a lace Matter of fact, no time for waste, give me a case water. Grape water, for fill up a lake, ready my shake, finish grape. Get the brand new, great tasting, refreshing grape water from grape. water Great for the whole family Watchy grape escape, water Connect Services is here to solve the connectivity problems of the modern world. Our services are broad-based. Solar installation, structured networking, smart building solutions, 24-hour IT technical support services and more. But they all come with the same promise of quality and professionalism. Contact us today. Grab your fave true shake, packed with 9 grams protein, 30% calcium required per day, 24 key vitamins and minerals, 3 great flavors, vanilla, peanut and butter pecan. Try a true shake. It's really good. Quick and convenient meal replacement. Shake and go with True Shake. You're never far from home when you're watching Scene TV. We bring the Caribbean to you. And now it's even easier to stay up to date on all things Caribbean when you subscribe to our YouTube channel. The latest action in sports, the biggest news stories in the region, and all the excitement in the world of entertainment. So join our community today. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and click the notification bell to stay informed. Scene TV, your preferred eye to the Caribbean. Why do we love football? Because out there, on that pitch, we're all the same. Join the growing number of scene subscribers and keep in touch with everything from the Caribbean, including the ISA schoolboy football season, exclusive from Jamaica. Call your cable operator and ask for Scene TV via Optimum in the Northeast US market and Bell & Rogers in Canada or come straight to the source at www.scene.tv and pay $4.99 a month. Be at home, away from home. Subscribe today. Broadcast is brought to you by Digicel. Better together. KFC. It's finger licking good. True Shake. Shake and go with True Shake. Water. Land of good and water. And Connex. Kick 
Suns versus Clippers NBA on Sportsbank 2 Saturday at 4 p.m. 5 ECT. Nuggets versus Pelicans that Sunday 3.30 p.m. 4.30 ECT. As we're back at Sabina Park, second half action in the Walker Cup final. Tivoli leading Haile Selassie by a goal to nil. Tivoli going forward, challenge coming in, throw coming up. Valentine with a sliding challenge there to play the ball into touch. One list. And it's Valentine who wins that battle. And it will be a goal kick for Haile Selassie. They trail in this final, the J. And they have to figure out a way to break through this Tivoli defense. And to also stop Tivoli from creating opportunities on the counter. Yeah, Haile Selassie are a team that like second halves. So far this season, you can think about some of their standout games. The second round game against Excelsior to go past the second round for the first time in their history. Because the question is, how do they handle the pressure as Payne tries to shoot from distance? His shot was blocked. He's down. Selvin tries to venture forward. Payne slowly gets back to his feet. Throw coming up for Haile Selassie. Good teamwork coming from the tip of the defenders. Selvin floats the throw, cleared away by Dorman, headed back inside the box by Payne. Out again. A shot driven wide of the mark and collected by Adir in goal. The shot coming from Sidri Hepburn. Haile Selassie have scored in the second half of very important games this season. Think about that Excelsior second leg, second half goal to put them through to the quarterfinals for the first time. You think about the quarterfinal versus St. Catherine that I mentioned where they scored three goals after the 60th minute. And of course in the semi-final against Wilmers they also scored in the 57th minute to put themselves through. So they're, they're never really truly down and out of a contest. And then when you couple that with the fact that they've only not scored in two games this season, that being the very first game of the season against Charlie Smith, and then in a quarter-final clash against Jamaica College, a team that's in the final right now, that's going to be played after this game, of course. Haile Selassie are not a team to be... Not, not a team that usually goes an entire game without scoring. of a championship match how do they handle that now they have possession Valentine appealing for a handed ball gets the call free kick coming up for Haile Selassie Tivoli Gardens have also been known to fall off somewhat tempo wise in the second half of games this season their coach has spoken Christopher Nicholas has spoken about them not sustaining the same tempo throughout the entire game here they are inside the box ball goes in just for two Just like that, Haile Selassie's fight is never to be played with. The war, important goal after important goal this season. I was just mentioning that clash in the second round where they scored in the second half. It was him, the war, who scored on that occasion. And it's him again drawing Haile Selassie level in this Walker Cup final. And now it's time to see the resolve of Tivoli Gardens High. How will they respond? To this highly Selassie fight back. Player of the match in that one you spoke about, Joshua Duar. 
his uncle Shaquille Dyer plays in the Jamaica Premier League formerly of Dunby Holden now Mount Pleasant so football runs in the family of this man Joshua Duar fifth goal of the season equalizer in the championship match can't say enough about him because I think he is the most important player in this highly selected setup just because of his versatility. We have a match on. Yeah, it has been Jawan Payne who has been grabbing the headlines lately with his goals, but Duar has been pivotal to highly selected success all season. As you mentioned, his versatility, he's been played in numerous positions, sometimes even all the way up at striker so he's a player that does whatever it takes for a team to be successful for his team to be successful and even in the first half he was their standout player so he has continued that in this second half and he's given Haile Selassie now a platform to build from to try and win this game Still doesn't look too happy, Linville Dixon knows there's a lot of work to do still. But the equalizing goal goes a long way. Parity restored in the Walker Cup final. Tivoli in possession with Watson. Comes back to McIntosh. McIntosh goes long, but it's into touch for a Haile Selassie throw. You were speaking about how Haile Selassie would manage the pressure in this final. Now it's up for Tivoli to see how they will manage the pressure after leading and then now starting the second half conceding. How will they then react to what Haile Selassie are doing? It's exactly what they would not have wanted Tivoli to concede early in the second half. They would have wanted to try and squeeze the belief out of Haile Selassie for as long as possible. But that early second half goal will reignite Haile Selassie for sure. Here is Watson now for Tivoli. Back to McIntosh who lays it forward. That's cleared away. Valentine chasing after it for Haile Selassie. The little man doing well, showing speed, showing fight keeps the ball in comes face to face with Tate and Tate gets a poke in for a throw comes to Muir the throw Valentine heads it down for Duar Valentine again swings this one at the edge of the box is looking for pain headed away from him and the Selassie maintaining possession though Jawan Payne tries to get a cross in Wins the corner, the block coming from Shane McIntosh. And another Haile Selassie corner coming up. They dominated in that category in the first half. Six corner kicks, the three. This is their seventh. The Haile Selassie fans shouting goal. Janai Lawrence. Whips in the corner kick. Comes back to him. With pace. Cross the face of goal. There was a... Well, they're getting another corner kick here. Fifth to fifth minute. This one is right at Adair, who made the save to create that follow-up corner kick. Muir picks it up for Haile Selassie, swings it into the middle. Haile Selassie going dangerous to forward, Duar, edge of the box, cuts it back. Was looking for Muir, but he was a little bit late to the move. 
won this. Goes flying down the left for Tivoli. Caught it inside. Cleared away by the captain, Dimitri Burton. Throw coming up. This game has really come to life here in the second half. There is a possibility that Tivoli Gardens probably intended as that one is headed out behind for a corner. There is the possibility that Tivoli Gardens intended not to see out this this lead that they had but to score again because over the course of the season in what is now their 15th game they've only kept four clean sheets so they probably knew that they had to score more than once to win this game so maybe their game plan hasn't changed too much but they would want it to wait would want it have would want it to would have wanted to wait a bit longer before Haile Selassie scored to try and get more of a foothold in the game 56th minute of the encounter, Tivoli in possession. 1-1 one, one the scoreline. Kevin Ebert. Shows off his safe pair of hands again. The Heitler Selassie fans getting more and more vociferous here at Sabina Park. Tivoli in possession though with Dorman. Dorman has been tackled up by Hepburn. Possession back to Haile Selassie. Hepburn slips it forward for Muir. That one is sent long. Well read by Adair. Janai Lawrence patiently awaiting his opportunity. <laughs> Valentine. Duan, the goal scorer for Haile Selassie. Valentine again. Lovely ball played over to Richards. Flag is up. Harry Slice really looking to turn on the pressure. At the start of the second half, the first 12 minutes has all been sustained pressure by them. They got their goal as their reward. They're looking for more. As they should. Tivoli in possession though with Smith. Kamali Smith. Kintosh sent further forward by Wilson cleared away by Dish by Kyle Williams throw inside the box Jareen Selvin banks it away Sean Tate and there's the call for offside on Kimani Richards corner kick coming up for Tivoli Daniel Watson, the Tivoli goal scorer. They have taken several of these corner kicks short. And Lassie alert to it on this occasion. And so Watson will go long. Headed away though, picked up by Hepburn. One list slides in with a challenge. Approaching the hour mark in this championship match at Sabina Park.
Your guess is as good as mine as to where this title is going. But it makes for an intriguing final 30 minutes plus added time. Sylvan is down. Got a knock to the face. Felt it late. Ooh, why not? Both teams preparing substitutions or sub preparing their substitutes. They're the Tivoli Garden substitutes. You mentioned that they have several players with more than four goals or four goals in their team. A couple of them are on that substitute bench. So players such as Ryan O'Neill Francis and Amaria Rowe with two goals could be looking to make an impact coming off of the bench. Yeah, no goals on the bench for Haile Selassie as I pointed out earlier. The strength of their team on the park. They head forward. Payne cuts it into the middle but that was into traffic. Duar fighting for it and does well to win it. Stevenson hangs with him. Real batter for the ball and Stevenson won it for Tivoli. And it's the last win it right back though. And they have a throw. Still maintaining the same pressure that they have had on this game, have had on this Tivoli Gardens back line since the start of the second half. That's going to continue now with a corner. Made the adjustments at half time. Haile Selassie came out with greater intensity and purpose. Joshua Duar got them the equalizing goal. And now they are looking to lead for the first time on the afternoon. Payne with a corner kick. It's not a bad one. But the header. Wasn't a great one. Looked as if he was defender Kyle Williams getting up from the back. It was a line of three Haile Selassie players waiting, but he was the first in line. Took it off Muir, who I thought was in a pretty good position. A lot to think about for Christopher Nicholas, Tivoli Gardens head coach. Decisive challenge from McIntosh there, sliding in. Throw coming up for Haile Selassie. Kimani Richards will look to go long inside the box. Does go long inside the box. The Manning Cup final to follow this Walker Cup final. Jamaica College, the 30-time champions will take on St. Andrew Technical champions back in 1987. They met in the 2019 final. Jamaica College won that one. They also met at the semi-final stage of the Champions Cup a week ago. Jamaica College won that as well on penalties. Duar goes long. Six to fifth minute. Is there a winner to be found? One list. Slippery little fellow he is. Trying to slip a pass through. That's cut out. Comes to McIntosh. Needs skill. Ball now given away. Richards. Here's Richards again. Chipping it forward. 
looking for Lawrence Muir battling for it and it gets a boot in on the challenge does Rohan Muir getting the ball away from Jaheim Dorman Tiffany long ball in Tivoli Gains look to bring a little bit of fresh impetus into this game and their side of things looking to freshen up the midfield area with a substitution that they have coming up it's going to be a John Smith their number three coming in and he'll be replacing Smith number seven Marley Smith has struggled to make a real impact on this game. This change will probably see Dorman, who has been in more of the central midfield area, the defensive midfield area, possibly move closer to the striker playing right in behind in the hole as an attacking midfielder, where he is comfortable, of course. But that move will also see more defensive solidity in the middle of the park with two out and out defensive midfielders in there as Ajani Smith has joined Odin Wilson two tough tackling midfielders now in that midfield possibly felt like they were being overrun by the Haile Selassie midfield there's Tyrese Francis warming up for Haile Selassie he's a real fan favorite the opening call of a contest Delightfully floated ball from Rolanda Stevenson from the free kick. Finished off with a fine header from Daniel Watson. And in the 35th minute they were in front. But Joshua Duar responded in the 49th to restore parity. 1-1. Both players netting their fifth goals of the season. And it's all to play for. 68th minute. is down the referee gets involved gives a warning to Horatio Wanlis and a free kick coming up for Haile Selassie whose fans have been absolutely wonderful so far this afternoon really letting their team know that they're here showing a lot of support for them and they have been delivering on the pitch so far. Burton, the captain. Dimitri Burton. Way too much on that. Which way will this one go? Tavoli Gardens, remember, four-time champions of the Walker Cup. Last won it in 2005. Haile Selassie, before this season, had been to one semi-final. That was in 2016. They parade on a final stage for the first time. This is Selvin. Dorman picks it up for Tivoli. Now Watson. Always running into traffic. Ping was looking to find Selvin again. Charles 
Winston Williams for Tiffany marshalling the troops. Jawan. Lawrence gets taken down. And another free kick coming up for Haile Selassie in the 70th minute. I'll make it the 71st as we take over. Shakur Adair. This ball will be coming to him from out of the sun. You can see him blocking his eyes. A dangerous delivery could do him the world of trouble. Let's see what pain has up his sleeve. The 18 year old Jawan Payne steps up. Think it was going for goal. High over the top though. 10 goals this season, 6 assists. Has been the in four man coming into this final for Haile Selassie. Is his moment still yet to come? Haile Selassie getting ready to make a couple substitutions. It's going to be fan favorite Kimani Reese. Or I apologize, Tyrese Francis coming in. You can hear the fans. Real fan favorite central midfielder, attacking midfielder, skillful player. Coming in for Muir and also coming in is Philip Hudson, right winger. Coming on for Kimani Richards. You now see Duar more go to the left hand side. So a couple of attacking changes by Haile Selassie. Well, they pay off. Watson trying to venture forward for Tivoli. He's dispossessed. Haile Selassie go forward. Duar on the football. Slips it into space. Well read by Charleston Williams. Throw taken quickly. Lawrence. Selvin. Floats this one in. Does Selvin. Well read by Adair. get the quick release Tivoli can be dangerous on the counter. Watson has been held at bay though. Dorman now. Remember these two have met twice already this season. Was in the opening round of the competition, they came out of the same group, which also included Charlie Smith. Charlie Smith topping the group, Haile Selassie ending up in second position, and Tivoli finished third. Got out of the opening round as a best third place team, but they have peaked when it mattered in the quarter final round of the Manning Cup, pushed Mona High. For a bit before Mona's superior quality told in that match but they have just gotten better throughout the course of the season and here they are in the 74th minute of the Walker Cup final level with a team that beat them twice this campaign once three one the other time just by a goal one nil all of that matters for very little at this stage it's all about who can find something special. The Jamaica College fans inside Sabina Park getting ready for the Manning Cup final. One of the men there, one of their super track and field athletes, Mark Anthony Miller, the brown kid who was pretty much sitting by himself over the far right side of that shot. He looked relaxed. He doesn't look too relaxed. Mark Anthony looked relaxed has a lot to think about so does he hopefully that won't be the picture at the end of it hopefully not hopefully it'll be this one yes. coach Linval Dixon now it's Tyrese Francis on the ball 
Duan trying to win it. Oh, Duan is such a good player. Wins the free kick. Such a gutsy player. That's always important to match the skill that you have with determination and grit, especially in the midfield areas. And that's exactly what he does. You always see him winning fouls for his team and driving them forward as he's doing there. And he's won a corner for them now. Turning up big in a big match. We have a massive final 15 minutes coming up. Here he is, Duar. He's in a good cross. The keeper doesn't get it. And Payne can't get it on the control to strike towards goal. Not the moment of danger created by Duar. Spoke sometimes about Adir not having the safest of hands. There was an example. Here is Duar striking towards the target. Comes back out, he batters for it. Oh, he's still going. Gets inside the box, but he's not in control of that. And the clearance comes. Will be a highly Selassie throw, will it? No. The whistle goes in favor of Tivoli. And it was a good clearance in the end by Tivoli. Making up for the mistake of their goalkeeper. Tate in the end. are working his socks off you can see the anguish on his face real battling performance this game has been a battle it has been close there has been much in it but there's still around 13 minutes 10 seconds plus added on time to see if we can get a winner in regulation time if not, he will go to penalties. Duar on his way again. Oh. oh, did he keep it in? Oh, he did. McIntosh there with him. Duar gets the cross. Has cleared away out of the heart of the Tivoli defence. Headed back forward by Payne. This comes out to Lawrence. Lawrence was trying to lay it off to Francis. Tivoli might get an opportunity to, to escape with one list. Ball stroked long. Headed back into the middle of the park by their captain, Burton. Oh, beautiful turn by this man, Payne. But he can't go the distance. Probably needed some whisper, whisper speed to complete what he was attempting. Not everyone is gift with, gifted with that acceleration, but it was a good attempt trying to take on the entire Tivoli defence by himself. As his teammate Dewar has tried to do as well for so much of this game. Joan Payne, his goal scoring prowess should not be ignored as well. Can you get one more? Tivoli with possession now though, that's not a bad shot, but it's right at Hibbert, who does it with a smile. Seems to do all of his goalkeeping actions so nonchalant. Always in the right place to collect. Mr. Cool. Mr. Composed. Remains 1-1. One, one. Francis. Approaching 80 minutes now.
Tivoli getting ready to bring on Amaria Rowe. A two goal man this season, Rowe. He's replacing Horatio Wandis. Sadly, Salasi heading forward though. Crosses right at Shakur Adir. Has handled the sun in being in his eyes well for the most part in the second half. Did spill one, but Generally, he has been very solid. Between Hepburn and Dorman. Probably had much more time than he thought he did on that occasion. But nevertheless, another dangerous counter-attacking chance, another dangerous chance that Haile Selassie nearly exploited. It's getting to that stage where the fans start to think about penalty penalties. Maybe even the coaches and players too. 82nd minute. No extra time, remember. Well won. It's hard for the play it's hard for the players not to think about penalties, the coaches as well when time is ticking on like this. Knowing what type of contest it has been. A tight one. McIntosh with the throw. Comes back to him. Swings the ball in. Peel four. The free kick from the substitute to Mario Rowe. Doesn't get it. Wilson. Well blocked by Francis. Williams does the smart thing. His goalkeeper came, realized that it wasn't the smart thing, retreated, so Charles and Williams did only have one option in that instance and he chose it. One smart option at least. <laughs> 84th minute. 1-1. One, one. Tivoli took the lead. Neil Watson with a header in the first half, four minutes into the second half. Joshua Duan responded for Haile Selassie. He's really been everywhere in this second half. The whole game really, Duan. Francis for Payne. Payne taking off the ball but wins it back, lays it off to Muir. Muir strikes towards goal all along the ground. It's actually Lawrence who got the shot off. Trying to get more involved in the game now, Janai Lawrence. Yeah, you see him running the channels often, dropping deeper to get on the ball as well. He's a player that likes the ball to feet so he can make things happen, as are a lot of the Haile Selassie players, they're attacking players. Here's one of them, Duar. 
looking for options the one has the skill to go forward himself switches the angle of attack comes on to hip run in the center hip run for valentine valentine slips it forward and gets it back this is good play francis for Haile Selassie. chance for a delivery they are met inside the box waiting here is Payne looking for the corner kick and he gets it Payne has been waiting all game to get an opportunity like that but in the end he was blocked well, charged down well by the Tivoli defence and now it's time for the war to Trying to whip in one of these corners. Corner kick for Haile Selassie. Headed away. Banged back in. This is a chance for pain. Can't put it on target. He'll want that one back. He knows he can do better than that. Joan Payne. It was Janai Lawrence again getting involved in play. That's good work by substitute Mario Rowe winning the foul. Free kick now coming up for Tivoli. As Dorman is taken down, very few opportunities to venture forward in the second half. Tivoli, they have really been outplayed in the second half of this game. But the one goal for Haile Selassie, meaning they're still level, they're still in with a fight. And even the opening goal came against the run of play, and they would love another one as well. Ryan O'Neill Francis is coming on their four goal man. He is replacing Dwayne Johnson in the 88th. Four goal man coming on for a three goal man. Free kick coming up. Amaria Rowe is there. Shane McIntosh is also there. Left footed shot. Oh, beautifully covered by Hibbert in goal. Coming from the goal scorer, Daniel Watson. As calm as he usually is in dealing with those Tivoli Gardens shots. Yeah, just glided across the surface. This could be a chance for Tivoli! Hibbert down and makes the save. Had to be alert there. An alert he was. It was Dorman with the shot in the end after the mistake. It was the captain, Dimitri Burton, with a, an almost deadly mistake. And Dorman couldn't beat Kevin Hibbert, who has had a real competent game. If this game were to go to penalties, I know that he would be a very, very confident keeper. Lawrence down on the turf, Tains possession, Duar now, Hepburn, Haile Selassie in possession with Valentine, Valentine cuts inside and picks on Hepburn again. Tivoli with so many players back. Duar. Hepburn is dispossessed. Dorman. Selvin trying to win it, but it's won by McIntosh for Tivoli now. With Watson. Comes back out to Shane McIntosh. The lights are on here at Sabina Park. Back into the center. Watson does well, trying to slip one through. The substitute, Philip Hudson, sprinting over on the far side. Very good defending. I think it was Tate, was it? Who got in there, made the challenge, and thwarted the attack temporarily. 
Haile Selassie trying to apply pressure till the very end, but Tate is having none of it. We look to the fourth official now to figure out how much time will be added at the end of this one. Closing out 90 minutes in the Walker Cup final. Three minutes to be added on. The Celeste with the corner kick, with the cross. Oh, this could be trouble. Tiffany on the front foot. Desperate challenge, but a really good one from Kyle Williams. And how did Tiffany not make more of that through Omari Rowe? In with another mistake late on here, Dimitri Burton, and it almost cost this team once more. So, two minutes apparently to be added on. Sports Max App moment brought to you by the Sports Max App. It's the Tiffany Cole, beautifully weighted free kick coming from Rolando Stevenson, his ninth assist of the season, and a wonderfully timed run from Daniel Watson to hit home his fifth goal of the campaign Sportsmax at moment brought to you by the Sportsmax app the big number 10 to King Linvo Dixon and why not he's trying to lead Haile Selassie to history here's the corner kick it's a timely header coming in there from Joshua Duar a man for everywhere Daniel Watson with the corner nervous moments 93rd minute final minute of the contest this one goes away from goal and it will be a throw for Haile Selassie increasingly looking as if we will be heading for penalties to decide the Walker Cup champions of 2022 they'll have to deliver from the spot they neutralize each other over 90 Daniel Watson giving Tivoli the lead that man Joshua Duar responding in the second half for Haile Selassie and now it's the dreaded penalties that will decide whether Tivoli will have a fifth Walker Cup title or well or whether Haile Selassie will get there first it was a tight game for the entire entirety of it full time 1-1 one, one. let's have a look at the match highlights then Janai Lawrence getting the game on its way Haile Selassie with the first shot and it was on target they had the second as well but couldn't breach the Tivoli defense Tivoli got into it Dwayne Johnson with a chance two chances from headers couldn't convert neither could Janai Lawrence at the other end for Haile Selassie but they kept coming great work here from Selvin to pick out Duar his effort well saved by Shakur Adir. Won this, looked dangerous in the first half. That cross, just getting a touch from Captain Dimitri Burton to take it away from a Tivoli attacker. That wasn't a bad free kick, but it was coolly held by the 15-year-old Kevin Hibbert in goal. But in the 35th minute, he could do nothing about this. Beautifully weighted free kick coming from Rolanda Stevenson. Fabulous run from Daniel Watson and the header. 
expertly executed 1-0 to Tivoli at that stage. Haile Selassie came into the second half with purpose though and they responded through this beautiful goal from Joshua Duarez, fifth of the season, picking out the far corner beautifully. Great skill and confidence. Yeah, and they were back in it. 1-1. They dominated the second half, Haile Selassie. And most of the opportunities, Duar there with that shot saved by Adir. And they kept pressing. Duar involved in so many of the plays. Keeper Adir unable to collect cleanly there, but it was cleared away. Haile Selassie pressing Hepburn, unable to get the header on. And then Payne, his shot taking a deflection and going over the top the captain Dimitri Burton making a mistake at the back here Dorman with a shot and Hibbert with the save and so after regulation time it finishes 1-1 let's have a look at the statistics Haile Selassie 14 shots 6 of them on target Tivoli Gardens 8 shots 7 on target 12 falls committed by Tivoli 7 by Haile Selassie 3 yellow cards in the contest 2 of them to Haile Selassie players offside calls 2 each corners 18 overall 11 for Haile Selassie saves 6 made by Kevin Hibbert for Haile Selassie 3 made by Tivoli's Adir and Haile Selassie 52% of possession to Tivoli's 48. So here we go. Penalties to decide it. Kevin Hibbert stands between the sticks. We will come face to face with Tivoli's goal scorer in regulation time, Daniel Watson. And Watson hits the left upright. He says sorry. It's a disastrous start for Tivoli. That's definitely not the start they had in mind when they sent their captain to go and take the first penalty. But that's definitely the dream start for Haile Selassie. They'll be starting from in front if they convert their first penalty here. Jerain Selvin. One goal this season. His penalty is saved as well. It's level at zero after one penalty apiece. That's a good save. And even after, the ball still could have went in. Floated up and hit the crossbar. And both teams have missed their first penalty. And we're, as we're started after one penalty apiece, it's nil all in this penalty shootout. It's Dorman's chance now for Tivoli. He steps up and converts confidently. Shaheem Dorman had a really good game in that central defensive midfield position. Stepped up for his team. And he calms nerves with the first conversion of the night 1-0 Tivoli and now the pressure is right back on Haile Selassie it's going to be Sudre Hepburn their defensive midfielder Hepburn hears the whistle he steps up and converts with a plum 1-1 just the way you want it done straight down the middle made up his mind early you can see and once he made up his mind he was never deviating and it paid off in the end it's 
it's now a center back's turn to take a penalty. Charleston Williams. For Tivoli Gardens High. They're number 16. Hibbert well poised. Gets the wrong way. But that was expertly taken. Beautifully placed. And Tivoli back in front. 2-1. Sometimes you wonder why center backs take penalties, but when they can convert like that, you definitely see why. Good penalty by Charleston Williams. Jawan Payne. What a season he's had for Haile Selassie. is a player with tremendous confidence no hesitation it's 2-2 two -two. Shakur Adair seems to be a little bit disappointed that he didn't save that but he wasn't too close to that one Jawan Payne finding the corner and as he's done most of the season has been reliable for Haile Selassie High 2-2 two -two after three penalties apiece it through and Tivoli ahead definitely wasn't the best of penalties but Maria Rowe came on as a substitute and gives them the lead 3-2 in the shootout was pretty close to Hubert he would be disappointed he didn't get a hand on to that Real pressure now. Handles it. Handles it very well. The Haile Selassie captain, Dimitri Burton, made a few mistakes in the closing stages of the match. Did cost his team. No mistake in the shootout. It's through a piece. If Tivoli can score here, they'll have one hand on the trophy. Oh, that's coolly done. That's calmly done. They lead 4-3 in the shootout, Tivoli. And Haile Selassie will have to score the next one. Shane McIntosh. They're left back with a coolly taken penalty. Now, Haile Selassie must score or else it will be Tivoli's cup. Haile Selassie do score. Joshua Duar, ever reliable. And he does not let his team down. He very rarely does. And it was a calm penalty. He puts his hands up. Says, team, I got this. Now we're into sudden death penalties. Ryan O'Neill Francis came on late for Tivoli. A four-goal man this season. Has the responsibility of trying to keep his team ahead. That was sweet. That was really sweet. And the pressure of the world. The pressure, the weight of trying to lift this cup right back on Heinle Selassie. And it's going to be Janai Lawrence, their second top scorer for this season so far. years old oldest on this team and he shows maturity in putting that one away lost his mother a few years ago Janai Lawrence 
his father has pushed him on and here he is in the Walker Cup final delivering a penalty that levels the score at 5 all for his school as they hunt a first ever championship. Stepping up is Deshaun Tate, the 17 year old centre back. Tate squeezes it through. And Tivoli stay in front. Kevin Hibbert again, probably a little bit disappointed that he couldn't keep that one out right under him. Wasn't the best penalty in the world, but it gets the job done. And Tivoli back in front. And now the pressure is back on Haile Selassie, it's back on no, it's now on Tyrese Francis. Second half substitute, the number 10. Came on in the 72nd minute. Can he confront? He can't! It's Tivoli left dancing. Water champagne pouring. Sabina Park belongs to them for now. Lieber Talliman, a championship winning coach many times over with Excelsior High School part of the management structure of this Tivoli unit and he celebrates with them. Haile Selassie really pushed in that second half. Both teams missed their first penalties but Tivoli recovered brilliantly. Kevin Hibbert who had kept so well in regular time had a couple of penalties where he will think I probably should have done a little bit better but it was Tivoli who stayed calm, who stayed composed, who showed great quality from the spot to secure the Walker Cup title for the 2022 season. What a finish at Sabina Park. Well, let's go back through it. Daniel Watson, the goal scorer in regular time, started off for Tivoli and he missed. So too. 
did Tareen Selvin for Haile Selassie, well saved by Shakur Adair. But from there, Tivoli were perfect. And Haile Selassie, they were very good too, Janine Lawrence. This was the final conversion by Tate. And then the 72nd minute substitute, Tyrese Francis, could not convert. And Tivoli ran off in celebration of a fifth Walker Cup title. On the lights at Sabina Park, they shine brightly. 6-5 on penalties after a one-all scoreline at the end of regulation time. Well, let's find out who the player of that thrilling contest was. Yeah, so I'm here with the man of the match and he'll be represented with a trophy, $5,000 Western Sports gift voucher and a smartphone with a $1,000 credit by Digicel's Kadeen Webley. She is the junior brand manager. Thank you, Kadeen. Now let me have a chat with you, young man. How are you feeling after winning the Walker Cup for a sixth time, a fifth time? Well, I mean, you know, the team are going to do it car. we've been through, we are trained from here first, so the coach just said, just keep heading in the game and we will win it. So we're just winning for our coach, our communities. Yeah, well, you played extremely well here today. Uh, what do you think about your performance personally? Well, me you know me, I do it car. I never yet stop, I never stop training yet. So I just go out there and do what I know and just get the job done. Yeah, well you celebrate with your team and you get ready to enjoy this one and bask and celebrate with the whole of Tivoli Gardens. Well... Yeah, you're gonna celebrate. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Congratulations and well done to you and your team. Well done. Yeah. So that was the man of the match. Let's have a chat now with Coach Ira Hemmings, the assistant coach, Ira Hemmings, and uh, he will be here with me now. Yeah, Coach Hemmings. Uh, not the result that you would have wanted, of course, you went, you were able to push it down to penalties, but should it have gone that far to begin with? No, the, the game should have not gone to penalty. When you get your chances and don't put them away, um, penalty, something can go in the way, and unfortunately, the penalty goes um, to the way today. Yeah, well, what are some of the high points, though, that you can pick out of this game? Well, in the second half, we, we put on the football and we start to play when we were done one nil, and we get back a goal, and then we get back several opportunities to score, but we did not put them in the back of the net, and that's how football goes. Well, now it's all about the mental work now, because these boys may be feeling a little bit down about this. How do you get them to bounce back from this for next season? Well, it's about six months or five months um, they have to really get themselves ready for next season. Um, we'll only lose about four players. So we, we should have the core of the bunch next year. Um, so next year we should be back again. All right, thank you coach and hard luck this year. Yeah, yeah, that was coach Ira Hemmings. Now we have a chat with Tivoli coach Nicholas, Christopher Nicholas. And the coach, you're happy about this one. Tivoli Garden celebrating with you. You win another Walker Cup title. How do you feel being the coach behind that? I'm so excited. I'm so excited, but first I want to say all praises be to God. All praises be to God because without Him, trust me, we don't know how we would have pulled through. Yeah. Because it's not easy. You came into this match knowing that it would have been a tough fight against Haiti Salasi because yes. they were on the verge of winning their first ever schoolboy football Yes, we title. know that. We know that. We had Salasi come out of the same Manning Cup group and they were runner up, I think, um, yes, to Charles Smith. You know? So we know what we are coming up against. But as I said, the boys pulled through with, um, with you know, instruction, they follow instruction and everything. Yeah. And we do the right thing. Well, and coach, that's good. Coach, congratulations. You can go and celebrate with your team All right, now. Thanks so much. A success story for inner city boys everywhere, for those who dare to dream who dare to believe that on stages like these, they too can parade, they too can perform, they too can excel. At the end of this one, the Walker Cup final for the 2022 season, it's Tivoli Gardens champions. A title well-deserved third in their Manning Cup group as the coach 
Christopher Nicholas pointed out behind Charlie Smith, behind Haile Selassie, they have beaten both those teams en route to this title. Charlie Smith in the quarterfinals, now Haile Selassie in the championship match, having lost to both of them in the opening round. I guess it's really not always about how you start, but about the finish. And the finish is to lift this trophy for Haile Selassie, for Tivoli. Heidel, St. Catherine, St. Catherine, and the next name engraved on that will be Tivoli High. performance of real grit and determination, a performance of real fight. In the normal run of play, they didn't always look like the best team or the better team. But they surely had a plan and they executed it very well. Haile Selassie had more possession. Tivoli though. Extremely solid. Knew exactly what they wanted to do. And when it came to the shootout, they held their nerves. And now they're the ones dancing. All they want is to lift this trophy. They can't wait. Hemmings, the assistant coach of Haida Selassie, pointed it out when it comes down to the penalty shootout, it can go either way. But tonight it's Tivoli's way. Stands filling up even more ahead of the Manning Cup final between Jamaica College and St. Andrew Technical, but they are lining up to collect their medals and trophy. We now have the presentation of awards to the champion team for the Walker Cup Football Competition. We ask the Tivoli team to come forward for the presentation to be made jointly by Kadeen Webley, Digital Junior Brand Manager, and Janard Williamson, Digital Foundation Special Projects. A check for $200,000 to Tivoli. So Kadeen Webley and Janard Williamson of the Digital Foundation Special Projects Now, now the presentation of the championship trophy to be presented. Dr. O'Neill Ankle, Chairman of the Manning Cup Competition, Keith Wellington, President of ISA, and Kadeen Webley in the presentation party, Junior Brand Manager, Digicel. The winners of the Walker Cup Football Competition 2022 from Tivoli High School. Congratulations to the Tivoli team.
former player now coach Christopher Nicholas, a coach. And Liebert Alleman is the manager of this team. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the Walker Cup champions of 2022, Tivoli High School. Tivoli, Coming up next, champions of the Walker Cup, Cup for the 2022 final. season. They didn't Sedan have a great start to the schoolboy football campaign, third in their Manning Cup group. But they have grown from strength to strength. Title. And now they are champions. From Sabina Park, well, from the Walker Cup final, we say goodbye. Haile Selassie and Joshua Duar gave it everything they had. Tivoli went in front, Haile Selassie responded. It went down to the dreaded penalties, and it was Tivoli dancing, celebrating. Dewar's equalizer was a brilliant one, but in the final analysis, it's Tivoli Gardens who win the Walker Cup. The Manning Cup final is coming up next. It will be the 30-time champion, Jamaica College, taking on the 1987 winners, San Andrew Technical. DJ Williams will still be here, and he'll be joined by Donald Oliver. A new team for the Manning Cup final. This broadcast was brought to you by Digicel, Better Together, KFC, It's Finger Licking Good, True Shake, Shake and Go with True Shake, Water, Land of Good and Water, and Connex. Connex Services Limited has been providing optimum support in the telecommunication and networking industry since its inception in 2003. At Connex, we have a staff complement of over 300 employees 